Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Fitzmonk TV here, aka Glorn33. I'm back here with another video on the channel for y'all tonight. Tonight I'm here with my review of Dragon Ball Super Episode 110, the English dub. And you guys know I don't do many English dub review episodes, but I'm gonna start doing that a little bit more as we get deeper and deeper into the tournament of power. Because you know, I feel like breaking down some of the stuff we see and comparing it to the subtitles is especially when it comes to the tournament of power i feel like it's good and i feel like you know there's gonna be people that out there that want to see these kinds of reviews and you know compare opinions etc etc we do know or we believe based on what geekdom has told us that dragon Ball super will be coming back in july july 1st mainly and most likely it's going to be taking um off from the moral arc and going forward we're still waiting for an announcement on that so when that announcement comes i'll make sure to make that video for you guys all right we're just waiting on an official um announcement which could come any day now especially if they're planning to you know come back with super in the next two months but here we are we had episode 110 of the english dub and this has been one of the episodes we've been waiting for. Maybe the most, you know, awaited episode. This is the episode that, you know, broke Country Row way back in October of 2017 when we first saw Goku go Ultra Instinct for the first time. And here we had it with the English dub. A lot of people wanted to hear, you know, the English dub version of Ultimate Battle. How is Goku's roar was going to be? You know, would Sean Shem will kill it? With his first, you know, take on Ultra Instinct. How about Jiren, etc., etc. You know, I'm not going to go too much into the plot. Because if you've watched Dragon Ball Super on Fuji TV um, in Japanese with the English subtitles. If you guys have already seen that, there's really no point in going in the, the plot again. You guys know what happened. You know, basically this is more about, you know, the character performances. And one thing I want to say, and if, if you guys have seen my reaction, which is live on the channel, make sure to check that out. The, um, I don't know who voices the character of Belmont. You know, Belmont is the, he's like the clown character. He looks like a clown, but he is the god of destruction for Universe 11. I really like his character in a way. He sounds kind of similar to Dispo. I don't know if the Dispo voice actor is vo voicing both Dispo and Belmont because the, you know, the voices for those two characters sound very familiar are similar in the English dub, but I really love the performance he gives as Belmont. I really enjoy it. Um, but, you know, as we see, and one thing I want to note, really, you know, in the first part of episode where we see Goku with the spirit bomb, I really love Sean Shemu. There was, like, about two instances when, you know, Goku is struggling against Jiren with the spirit bomb, and he's in the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20 form. And, you know, Sean Samuel had some epic roars or screams, whatever you want to call it. He had some epic roars in that form. And, you know, they, honestly, this was some of Sean Samuel's best work I've ever seen him do. And I've been watching him, you know, voice Goku for years now. So many years since I was a child. But, man, he absolutely killed it in this episode with the roars he did for Goku. Because that's mainly Goku's dialogue in this episode. Roaring as Super Saiyan Blue and, roar and doing roars as in ultra instinct and he absolutely kills it and when i heard that, i was like man if he is you know bringing that just for super saiyan blue kyle ken imagine what the roar is going to be like when he does it for ultra instinct and man he killed it which we'll talk about in just a couple moments but you know getting into the whole sequence of you know you know goku finally getting ultra instinct i love how beerus Beerus, you know, if you remember in the um, English subs, he goes like, he's coming. But, and Jason Douglas did a, a fantastic job with the line this time. He's going like, is this really the end of you saying? Is this really the end of us? And he's going like, Goku, are you finished? And then you hear, you know, the vibration and Goku erupts. I absolutely love it. And then Whis is like, hmm. And Goku's like, and I mean, not Goku, Beers goes like, here he comes. So in the subtitles, he goes like, he's coming. But in the English dub, he goes, here it, here it comes. I absolutely loved it. Loved a different take, a different line. You know, they don't have to do everything like the English subtitles, man. But, you know, 
I love the second part of this episode, just reliving that same energy. I was getting the same goosebumps and same energy I had when I first watched it with English subtitles back in October of 2017. I was feeling that same energy, and I hope you guys see that in my reaction. But mainly the second part, the second part of that the episode is great. You know, I I love Weiss's excitement. Ian Sinclair, the voice actor for Weiss, does a fantastic job. You know, you know, voicing the excitement of Weiss. You see Weiss and how excited he is because he says, This is what I've been trying to teach him and Vegeta since I first started training them, and I never thought they would reach it. And then he's so excited, he's like a little kid that's you know, in line to get ice cream from the ice cream truck. That's the way we sound. He is like he was so proud and so happy and so excited. So many positive emotions were being, you know, showcased by Weiss in that moment. So Ian Sinclair, fantastic job with the portrayal of Weiss. And also the explanation of, you know, how Goku obtained Ultra Instinct. Like the energy from the spare bomb that Goku didn't really absorb it, but he used that power to, you know, break the wall that was happening between what his current limb his current limit of power was, which was Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken times twenty, and you know, that next state which was Ultra Instinct, the state where you step into where you truly step into, you know, the level in the realm of gods. Which was, you know, absolutely fantastic. I love the explanation. Also, there was a little bit of a change here. Um, Yuji in, you know, we've also, from the subtitles, from English subtitles, we usually call Ultra Instinct, Ultra Instinct All Men, or, you know, Ultra Instinct Sign. And then we call, you know, Master Ultra Instinct, Master Ultra Instinct, or MUI, whatever you want to call it. But in the dub, you, Beerus calls it Autonomous Ultra Instinct. Alright, Autonomous, which is a change. We never heard that before until tonight. And, you know, I, I'm okay with it, you know. There are some people saying that they don't like it. They People saying they... Excuse me. Um, there's people saying they wish they would just keep it as Ultra Instinct Omen. Or just Ultra Instinct in general. And call Silver Master Ultra Instinct. But I'm okay with them calling it Autonomous Ultra Instinct. It helps people... I think in the long run, it'll help people. Especially fans of the English dub. Understand that, you know... This form of Ultra Instinct with, you know, the different hair and the uh, silver eyes, it's, you know, stage one of Ultra Instinct. There's a stage, you know, above it that Goku has not yet reached in this, in terms of the English dub. And I'm fine with it, you know, it's not everyone's going to agree with me, you know, so there's going to be people in the comments that don't agree with me, but that's okay. I like Autonomous Ultra Instinct and I'm fine with that. Also, at the end of the episode, we all know the epic final class between Jiren and and Goku, I loved loved it. You know, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. One of my only flaws with the episode was I didn't really enjoy the ultimate battle song. Like I said earlier, the ultimate battle song in Japanese is much better than the English one. For one, you know, this the I don't know. I'm not trying, you know, the hate on the person who did the English dub ultimate battle, but I just feel like they could have done better. In my opinion, all right. I feel like they didn't really necessarily had the right voice for the job. That person, they I feel like they just didn't bring enough excitement to the English dub of Ultimate Battle. You know, people may disagree with me, but you know, I prefer the Japanese version of the Ultimate Battle song any day of the week. Also, when the Ultimate Battle was playing, you it was kind of difficult to hear it. Definitely, whoever mastered it. Um, for this episode, the the levels for the music was definitely pretty low, and you couldn't really hear it that much. It was more playing in the background when, in the you know the English subtitles, the Japanese version, it was much more balanced along with the action and what was going on in the episode. So definitely, when it comes to Ultimate Battle, I'll prefer the Japanese any single day episode, audio track, whatever you want to call it. But going back to the end when we see the final class between Goku and Jiren, I really enjoyed that. Also, you see Goku 
at the end. Sean Schemmel with the roar as Ultra and Seek absolutely killed for months. For the last year and a half, we've seen people, you know, doing their own versions of the roar, editing their, or making their own versions of it. But Sean Schemmel absolutely killed it with that epic Ultra and Seek. Right? I love that they kept because there were some people that thought they weren't going to keep it, but they did. And you know, Sean Schemmel did a great job showing you know the power of Ultra Instinct with that roar with Goku's voice but there was one problem with it in the beginning of the final class between Goku and Jiren you can see Goku the frame rate for when Goku's punching Jiren for, you know and at first you might think it was if you watch the episode it might make you think that you know your, your computer or whatever you're watching for is lagging it's not whoever edited the episode the frame rate actually dropped for when Goku was firing punches and I don't know why you know that's pretty that's a pretty easy fix I guess somebody in you know final editing just kind of forgot to fix that in a way there was really no need for them to make any changes from what they did in the Japanese version other than the audio but you know hopefully they fix that for blu-ray dvd you know eventually because they don't i know funimation they probably know they made a mistake with that frame rate it was only a couple seconds but still it's very noticeable they're definitely gonna want to fix that for blu-ray and dvd and whatever's next especially with how much you know funimation has been getting um grilled in the past couple of months when it comes to blu-ray and all that other stuff is with the dbz 30th anniversary but that's a nerd topic for another day um, but, you know, also Jiren, I'm not sure who his voice actor is, but he did a great job at the end talking about saying your power is very interesting, but it, it appears that this is all you have left to offer right now. And when he sends Goku flying, I absolutely love that. Um, last but not least, I love Jiren. I mean, not Jiren and Hit, their interaction. Jiren, when Hit flies in, when, you know, Jiren sends Goku flying, and Hit comes in to try to, you know, hit a side attack on Jiren. Jiren goes like, Assassin of Universe 6, what do you want here? And Hit's like, I'm here doing my job. I absolutely loved it. All right. Very, very similar to how they did in the Japanese version. So I, I, I can't wait to see Hit versus Jiren in the English dub next week. Can't wait to do that reaction and review for you guys. But other than that, that's about it. This was a good episode. This was a great episode, actually. You know, very minor problems I have, you know, with the frame rate for those couple seconds near the end of the episode with Goku and Jiren. And, you know, the Ultimate Battle song, it really wasn't that good here in the English dub. But, you know, it is what it is. It didn't really take away from the episode episode all that much for me personally that's my opinion other than that that's a it was a good episode and you know i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did and i'm really happy that finally after you know over a year and a half we finally get to see ultra and sync in the english dub but other than that that's about all i got for you guys today make sure to like comment subscribe if you guys want more videos like this also, if you guys are new to the channel, enable notifications by clicking the bell right next to my name, Fitzmunk TV, so you guys are notified every time I post a new video, alright? Once again, I'll have more Dragon Ball videos for you guys throughout the week, and I'll have, you know, if you guys haven't checked out my episode 110 reaction, that is also live on the channel. I'll be back next week with, you know, episode 110 hit versus Jiren English dub. And I'll also have a review and all that good stuff for you guys. Other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day, guys. Peace.